Sostagaria. For over a millennium, the fertile lands in the heart of this vast continent were ruled by the Holy Asha dynasty, descendants of Toroa the Messiah. However, it is man's doom to forget. Amidst all the wealth and exotic pleasures, the nobility lost their way and sank into corruption and depravity, forgetting even the holy teaching of Toroa. It was in these days of unrest that the citizens, struggling under an oppressive regime, rose up and, under the leadership of Aris the Sage, took up arms against the kingdom. That was the first outbreak of violence in what would later be known simply as the Revolution. The Royal Army's counterattack was swift and fierce, but time and time again they were put to flight by the cunning strategies of Aris and the indomitable will of the advancing Liberation Army. Victory in hand, the rebels set up a council and worked to establish the continent's first democracy. And so, the Republic of Ishtaria was born. However, Aris the Sage, whom all hoped would lead the country, mysteriously vanished and has not been seen again to this day. Now, 15 years later, the shadow of war once again threatens Ishtaria. Gilbaris Island. Over the centuries, this tiny island in the Gadar Sea has given rise to numerous myths and legends. It is called the Island of Ancient Mysteries and has been the subject of much speculation over the years. It is the island of General Magnus' disappearance and it is here that Ash and his companions now venture. After the disappearance of Ash and the others, it is announced that General Magnus has been assassinated by an extremist faction within the security forces. News that a national hero has fallen at the hands of terrorists sends shockwaves through the country and most blame the domestic security agency which controls the security forces. This results in the ouster of Ronaldo Castillo, Hell Spites' political arch rival. <laughs> Defense Minister Hell Spites, highly praised for his quick handling of the terrorist threat, is elected Prime Minister the following month. In the name of national security, Hell requests emergency powers from the Council, but as soon as he is granted those powers, his tyrannical nature emerges. He abolishes the council, creates a secret police, and establishes a privileged class. Finally, he revives imperialism and claims that he will place himself 
on the sacred and inviolable Ishtarian Imperium. Realizing the danger, some citizens join anti-imperial movements, but these are easily crushed by the Crimson Guard. It was the second coming of the Dark Ages, and terror reigned over all. News of the fall of the supposedly impregnable prison spreads quickly throughout all of his chariot and is a tremendous shock to the Imperial government, who believe themselves unassailable. Upon hearing this news, the resistance movement is revitalized. They begin staging large revolts throughout the land and succeed in liberating the southern region. In the meantime, Ash and his companions hold a meeting with Clive Beckett, who is acting as a pipeline to the Resistance. The Torog Mountain Range, located on the far northern border of Ishtaria, from ancient times. It has been called the home of the gods, and as of yet, no man has been able to dwell for long upon its cruel facade. Placing their last hopes for the overthrow of the Empire upon the ancient script engraved upon the royal ring, Ash and his companions travel north by sea to this harsh land. Meanwhile, after finally obtaining the Flame of Judgment, powerful forces were at work within the Empire. Having acquired the Great Sword, Vandal Heart, the only power which can resist the Flames of Judgment, Ash and his friends set off for the city of Shumeria to take their part in the Liberation Army's final assault. At the same time, Dolph, who had been secretly hiding his true ambition for years, saw the chaos after the death of Emperor Hell as his great chance to grasp the reins of power. Kad bi svi ljudi cijelog svijeta znali da djeci treba mir, duša u igri puna snage u slobodi, nada u budući miran sam, let je let i pad je let. Mon ami, tu siaju je linija neba i nas Tuga svijeta ne gori, neka ljubav se rodi I pad je let, nadaj se, mon ami Prekriti snijeg Moja duša ne gori Neka vječnost se rodi Let je let i pad je let Mona mi
Widi sang, fiddle love, fiddle fi, widi fa, widi fa, sigh, I am, widi fa.